All right, guys, welcome back to round two of the Golf Club 2019, uh, the Open Championship Society event. We're back with round two. Round one was a little bit frustrating. I'm actually playing round two a couple hours after, you know, um, just because uh, I was playing well. I want to get it back into the rhythm. I'm pretty disappointed with how I put in the stuff, so I want to get back out there and see if I can uh, shoot a lower round here in round two. It looks like the winds are even higher. As you can see, 18 mile an hour winds there. That's insane. I uh, got a monster energy in me, so my energy's up. Let's go. Let's do this thing, man. I really do think, like, I was a little bit unlucky in round two, and this is a, a course that I can play well on. I, I really feel like I was unlucky with some of those putts, and I could have had a better round, like, at least, like, six, he seven under. Whoa, well whoa, that was fast. Last round. We're gonna see how well that's he can do not the ideal start. Definitely not, and that's going to be in the heavy rough. Holy shit, man. I hit maybe one, yeah, one fast shot in the entirety that. of the last round, and there we hit a... Fast shot right off the bat. That is a little bit depressing, I must say. We're not going to be able to reach no matter what. So, um, I wonder is it worth, like, not even going for this? Because this is probably going to end up in the bunker. Get over it! And I don't think this is going to go well, folks. No, it was actually pretty... No! And, and it sat down like that. It was sand. actually pretty close to being over. I'm not even, like, trolling there. I was pretty close to being over, man. And now we're struggling for par on the first hole. This is not the ideal start. I should have played that smarter, though. That was really stupid of me. Yeah, we're going to make a bogey on the first hole. Oh, my God, man. Bad drive. Bad second shot. Feet from the bunker, the bunker shot was just impossible then. One good putt could goddamn change it all, though. Because a bogey on the first is just... I haven't had a bogey yet. On this course, we didn't have a bogey in the first round at all. Again, not enough break. I'm not giving these enough Ooh, break on this course at all. Just, just doesn't drop. I don't know why, but I just can't seem to give it enough break. Bogey. And that is a really, really depressing start, honestly. Like, that is just depressing and the putt will the drive drop. really killed it and then the second shot i should have just and laid up to it. i thought i could maybe possibly get it on the front of the green but it was not worth the risk at all and that is a ridiculously stupid now start especially in these wins it's going to be really difficult regardless and then if i do something like that to start off on the very first hole it's a little bit stupid i must say Oh, uh, it's looking like it's heading. That's taking the, the wind out of my sails on the very first hole. I hate when you start with a bad, a bad score. Even in real golf, you start with like, say, if I go out there and have a double on the first, I'm just like, what was the point of even coming out? Yeah, like, yards uh, it's so yet. annoying. It's so frustrating, man. It really is. The 93 just won't be enough here, right? I struggle to believe it will be enough. But this is going to be too much. Like, I know it's going to be too much, but there's not much else I can really do, uh, unfortunately. Like, I guess I can try hit a little fade here. Try hit a high fade and see if we can get it to stop up. Fade on this one. It's actually too short. Holy goodness. So the fade does really affect it then, huh? And that one is on If you fade it into the wind. Quite a bit of real estate to like, make Because that came up a lot shorter time. than I was expecting. I thought that was going to be far, too far no matter what there. So maybe the fades really do affect it quite a bit. Again, not enough break. Again! Ooh, inches. Dude, inches I haven't... <sighs> I knew it as well in my head. I was like, should I give this a tad bit more? Oh, man. Already I'm getting frustrated. Only two holes in. And plus one on the day after that hole. And we have two really difficult holes coming up as well. The par three and the par four. Now let's see what this Index third three followed by index one. Going. This should be fun. And we do not have a club for this either. Like, this is just 100% going to be too much club. So I'm going to try the old tactic of... Hitting a high fade, possibly. Against the wind. Hopefully that can possibly do something. Come on, wind. Where's the wind, man? Come on, wind. Come on, wind. That's not bad at all. That might be good. Slow down. Slow down. Come on, slow down for me. All right, that's about as good as I could have asked for, honestly. That, that, that's a really good shot, I would say. And it gives us a slim chance for a birdie. Uh, if we could birdie this hole, that would be and huge. This is for birdie. But we need to start making putts, man. 
Because, like, I played really, really well in the last round. And I didn't hold a enough putts at all. I hold, like, four good putts. That's it. But, like, I missed so many opportunities. Gonna be doing the same here if, uh... Is that really still not enough break? It is. It's right in the middle. Let's go! And I thought that was going to miss low again. I was going to be upset. That Very long putt. That's right in the right middle, baby. The what was that, 26 and foot? Go down to That's what I'm talking about. We're back in business now. All right, I need to relax. I need to relax because my emotions are getting better with me. Already. Already. I need to calm down. Oh my god. This is like a par 5. This is legitimately harder than a par 5. I'm not even trolling. 18 mile an hour wins into us. That is absolute madness. Kick forward. Get the kick forward. It's going to kick left. Don't kick all the way across. That's all I ask. It's a three-shotter. Like, it's not even debatable. Even with the master clubs, I think this would be a three-shotter. probably going to like that. From 250 yards out. Yep. Three-shotter. Yeah, you think I should hit driver? So why, what's the point of having driver off the deck if you can only catch it? The max you can catch a driver off the deck is 87%? It's like, I don't think there's even a point to having it then. I'm gonna hit a fucking draw here. Try to get it to run up the, run up the green a little bit maybe. Nope, that's not what I wanted. There you go. Ooh, it I hit it fast. The draw here. Okay, uh, if I was going to hit it fast, I definitely didn't need to hit that much of a draw. But, um, we'll take it. We can get this up and down for a birdie. It'll be alright. Go under par. Oh no, I forgot this is a par 4. What am I talking about? <laughs> I forgot this is a ridiculously tough par 4. Holy shit. We gotta get this up and down for a par. Holy, bro. That's gotta be good. That's gotta be so good. That's so good. We'll take that, baby. And now we gotta make that for the par. A little short one. Come on. To save par. Just the tiniest little bit of break, but nothing much in there. And nearly. Fucking nearly missed on the right side. But uh, we'll take it. And that's a good Staying par. Right there in fifth place. And level through hole. four isn't the end of the world. Okay? Because there is two really okay, tough holes in the there, I must say. Store for us. The first hole was ridiculous. I shouldn't have bogeyed that at all. But we won't say no to a... Uh, Okay, we gotta just hit, like, the hybrid again. There you go. I hit it fast again. Why am I hitting it fast all of a sudden, man? Oh, looking pretty like, good. I was hitting no shots fast in the last round. I don't get it. How randomly I'm hitting shots fast now. Like, I'm hitting it the exact same way. I've hit, like, five shots fast, and I hit, I, I hit take this one to fast myself. in the last round. That ended up in the I'm literally hitting it the exact same way. I don't get this sometimes, man. I really don't. Okay, we'll try this. I think. Is that even gonna hit the lip? I really hope this doesn't hit the lip, man. Didn't. AGAIN! There's something going on, man! Everything is fast now! What the fuck is going on? I'm so confused! It's where I switch back to the Master Clubs or something. I think in my time playing as the on the pro clubs, I've done ma three rounds, four rounds with the pro clubs, and I think I've hit it like fast a maximum of five times until this round, maybe less. And I've done that already in this round. It's crazy. It's weird. There you go. That's perfect. Get in. Nope. All right, not bad. It's gonna be another boring par. And this one's about four feet. I need to fix my swing though, because I'm hitting everything fast. If we fix the swing, we might be able to do okay, because we've hold a couple putts already. We're not doing atrocious or anything. Just gotta... Just gotta get it together here, alright? Because if we can shoot a similar round, like... I'd love to get to double digits under par this round. Like, that's probably unrealistic with these wins. But I'd love to get to 10 under with the, after this round. That would be incredible. Obviously, as I said, unrealistic in these wins. There's 18 mile an hour wins. It's like something out of a movie. These wins are just incredible. But, it could happen. You never know. What, do I want to hit the 193 here? I feel like it might be a little much. But at the same time, if it does end up being a little much, there's a hill behind it. So it's not the end of the world, right? Yeah, that's good. Come on, wind. 
Come on, Wind. Looks like it's going long. Yep. Hit the hill, though. Hit that hill and come back down. There you go. Don't you dare get caught up in that fringe. Don't you dare. Yep, there you go. No, why is it going that way? What the hell? I thought it would come back towards the hole. Damn it. It's not It's not awful, though. It's not awful. But yeah, it did kind of just come back down this way, actually. All right, it breaks all the way to the right, pretty much. And then right at the end, it breaks back to the left, but not that much. So I feel like out here should be good. Go on, break back that little bit, baby. Let's go! My putting's on point. My putting's on point when my shots aren't on point. And then when my shots are on point, my putting's not on point. So <laughs> but we're under par again. That's okay. Five under. We're going to make a move now. what the seventh hole has in store today. I was four under through seven in the last round, then I didn't do shit after. I made 11 pars after, so if we can be two under through seven, and then after, make some big moves, that would be ideal. I'm gonna aim for that bunker, and just boom. Wow, look Blast at this it. Drive, look at that folks. 20 mile an hour Seriously. wind, carrying it straight over there. 20 mile an hour, that's crazy. We're definitely gonna be able to reach today. Maybe, possibly get an eagle. That'd be nice. But the bunker is right in front of it, so that makes it a little awkward. We might have to hit a little fade around the bunker. Because um, if there's 20 mile an hour winds, it's going to bounce forward quite a go. bit. 20 mile an hour winds, this is too much. But the 193, it's not enough, is it? Fuck! We don't have a club for this, man, unfortunately. I think I need to hit this, though. I don't think I could possibly hit the other one. Could I? I don't think I could possibly hit the other one. Like, that's going to be too much. 214? That's going to go miles too long. But this one will probably just be front of the green. Maybe just short of the front of the green. Going with the four iron here. Kick. Kick right. Kick right. Kick right. Kick right. Yes, kick right. Kick right. Ooh, it's long enough, but it's actually just... Didn't get that little kick right that we wanted. But that's an eagle putt. That's pin high as well. It was perfect distance. Okay, and hitting this par five in two is going to set up some... This is a chance. Definite eagle this is a good chance. It's really not that hard. Like, it's obviously not easy either because it's a 28-footer. Like, break-wise, it's not breaking a terrible amount. Get in. Get in. Oh, it needed more break. I actually thought the opposite. I thought I might be giving it just that There's little a few touch too much. But yeah, this course has proved me wrong on that a couple times. Like, it breaks a lot. For the birdie. Jeez, I smashed that. Imagine I missed that. Holy fuck, I would have never forgiven and myself. But we'll take the birdie. Two under, right through, uh, two under through seven. That could have been three under through seven. That would have been a nice hole. eagle to have. But now let's push on. All right, through seven holes. We're under par again. Let's push on like we didn't do last time. Okay, that's going to be just fine. Right side of the fairway. Tough hole. It's going to be into the wind the second shot again. It was on the last... In the last round as well, I believe. The winds mightn't have been as extreme, but it was still into okay, the wind. about 185 yards to the... That's pin. not too bad, actually. It's more crosswind than anything. But I think I should probably go the club up. And just hit a little bit of loft on that bad boy. And hopefully... That should be I think good. that's the four iron. Just a little bit to the right. And it is a little short, actually. Wow. Okay. It's not bad. We're going to have an uphill putt. Could be worse. An uphill 30-footer, probably. That around that safely, length. 25, 30 foot. But, uh, yep. whole lot of work 30 foot, pretty much. That next putt. We're lucky we didn't go down. We got real lucky here. That's a big break that we didn't go all the way down there. It's still a tough putt, so it's not a massive break or anything. But it's a big break that we didn't go all the way down off the green. Stay up. See how much break I gave that? It's still not even nearly enough. Again, this course, the break is so much more than you think. I need to get this into my head. Like, I'm leaving everything and on the low side. Five feet Absolutely everything. It's crazy. I don't get how it's so much. Like, it doesn't look like it's breaking that much, but it just breaks a lot more than you think. And the par putt will do Okay, we'll take a par there, though. And after that one, staying pretty steady. These wins, like it's um, solid stuff. Cat Pete says three under, 13 under altogether. Three under, th two through 10. Can't speak okay, English. And on to the ninth. Ninth hole, par four, 18 mile an hour wins. I feel like this might go in the bunker if I hit that. So I'm actually going to hit the three wood here. I don't want to go in that bunker. 
I do not want this one's looking to like go in that bunker. I don't know if it would have, but I don't think it was worth it. It probably would have. Yeah, I think it probably would have. That drive would have went in the bunker and it would have made things way more awkward from here. than it needed to be. The 93 mile an hour wind here. Or sorry, the 18 mile an hour wind is going to affect this. We have a 93 yard shot. I'll try to put some loft and a little bit of a fade on this if possible. And try to get it to stop up if we can. No way, no way I hit that fast. Are you kidding me? Come on. Come on, Hill, bring that back down, please. Please, please don't stay up there. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Get in the hole. Go on. That's beautiful. I thought it was just going to stay up there. But that is another slice of luck. Pretty See, sure he's gonna like in this that. round, the luck is his going with us prepared. a little bit. We're actually getting a little bit lucky. Because I hit that fast. I really thought I thought that that was going to stay up there. We'll take that all day, son. Staying steady. Thank you very much. Fourth place. After that hole. All right, three under through nine. We've we've uh, pretty much matched our. Well, we were four under through nine on the other round. Four folks. We were four under through seven as well. So we're we're making a little bit of progress here. If we can have a good back nine now, that's what we need. A good back nine, because we had nine pars in the back nine. Um, Ooh, heading for the fairway here. In Thursday's in what Thursday's round? You know what I'm saying? Like the first round of the open. Um. So we'll see if we can maybe do a little better than that. On the back nine today. Like I said, I would like to be double digits under par at the and end of the round. So if we have an another three out. under back nine. We have three under front nine. If we have a three under back nine, that would just be ideal. So it's 14 foot up. 60 mile an hour wins. I need to hit this like a 165 shot, I feel like. That's perfect. That's perfect. This club is perfect. Legit. Oh, that lie. I don't like it, though. That kind of ruins things a little bit. Let's see. Oh, I pulled like a it. Seven iron. I think I pulled it a little. And this one's looking pretty good. Ah, it's still pretty good though. That's beautiful, man. What a shot! What a right, shot into that wind. Now. This one's about ten feet from the. Okay, cup. this is a difficult putt though. Shit. Stay up! Stay up! Stay up! Stay up! Yes! Oh, I thought that was missing. Come on, baby. That's huge. Four under through ten now. Days. Come on. And is currently tied for second place on the leaderboard. After the bogey on the okay, first and the frustrations, you wouldn't have 11. thought. But let's freaking go. What a par three this is. Holy shit. 15 mile an hour wins, 12 foot down. I'm not hitting that club. Like, I honestly think this club will be enough. Come on, get a big kick now. That's all I ask for is a big kick. Big kick forward and to the left. Oh, yeah. That is exactly what I was asking for. It's not going to be perfect, but that's a really good shot. And we'll take that up the hill. Up the hill and putt. he will like that. I like that and a lot. Putt is for John, Burton. I like it a lot. Okay, it breaks to the right at the start. To the left at the start and the right at the end. Okay, I think it might break slightly more to the right, if I'm being honest. Well, maybe a slight tad bit. No, actually, because it breaks... Left at the very start as well, so I'm thinking it's pretty straight overall, if anything. Okay, let's try this. Come on, break back for me. Break back for me, baby. I didn't hit it! Oh, that was actually right in the middle if I hit it. That... Hmm. That was actually way more uphill than it looked. Because it's uh, you say it was trying to, trying to get me to hit okay, a 37-foot putt, uh, but the putt was only like 25 foot or something, so... Yeah, it must have been stay more uphill than I thought, but after that hole. we really had the line bang on there. All right, we're second on the and leaderboard, though, out of 12. all the people that have played the second round. Probably not a lot of people, because I'm playing the second round, like, pretty shortly after I played the first. All right, this should be just fine. Short par four. Wind is with us today. I think it was against us on the last round, if I'm not mistaken. And a promising looking shot here. And it was a hugely different hole because of that. There's a 19 mile an hour wind. That's going to be in the rough. Uh, that's not too bad. It's light rough. Should and, be able uh, to get a flop I on that, I think, Looks probably. Like that shot, uh, actually no. Ended up in the rough. Maybe not. I thought we might be able to flop this. So if I flop it, what would be the max distance? 40. Yeah, no, that's not good enough. Need to hit a pitch. All right. We'll hit a 55-yard pitch with some loft. Um, A good amount of loft, if possible, like there. No, not that much. Okay, there. There you go. Maybe the other mount of loft was right. Good lord. 
That just doesn't want to stop. The pitches in this game are the, probably my least like favorite that. part about this game. I don't From like pitching feet. in this game at all. I feel like the pitches always shoot on way more than they would in real life. They just go. You know? They just go. All right, this is a tough putt, though. Holy... Again? Dude, oh, I, I, I even adjusted close. it to put it out more to the right than I thought initially, because I was like, yeah, it does break more than you think, and still it's not enough. That's absolute fucking madness, mate. One second there, I'm just getting... And after that one, uh, four under a notification. the score no, we're good. for the day. It we're good, we're good, we're good. For second place on the All right. And if I could really get, like, the, the greens down field. and I could read the greens properly on this course, I think we'd be doing better. We'd be doing a lot better. We're eight under right now. It's not terrible. Like, it's definitely not terrible. We have five holes remaining. Um, six holes remaining, rather. So it's not terrible. But I just... I'm, I'm misreading a lot of the putts where it's like I'm not giving it enough break. And it's kind of putting a downer on nice the round shot. a little bit. Like yeah, Got 15 mile an hour wins away. here. Fuck, you know, mate. 15 miles an hour, eh? 15... Yeah, I think that this might be pretty good, actually. This might be ideal for this club. Oh, I pulled the shit out of it. Luckily, the wind kind of helped that. Go go in the hole. Oh! Dude, a sit down, ball. Come on. Really? That that pitched, like, yeah, before be the hole and that. still went that From far on? At the goddamn gap wedge? I know the wind was with me, but jeez. There's no oh way that's still not enough break. Very, There's very no way, thing. dudes! Like, that didn't even look like that much break at all, and I still and gave it so much! I can't believe how much it's breaking. I can't believe it. Like, it doesn't look like it's breaking that much at all. And currently sitting at Again there, I gave it extra than what I thought. Still. It's currently tied for and it's still breaking so much more board. than I think. I don't know why I can't get that down today. It's really weird. Really just weird. A huge drive here. Like, what, did you guys think I was aiming on that putt right there? Be honest, 100%. Let me know in the comments. Did you think I was aiming enough to the left? Like, without knowing how that putt would turn out. Obviously, you saw that I missed it right, but without knowing how that putt would turn out, did you think I was aiming far enough to the left? Because I thought I was aiming, like, in my head, I was like, I'm probably aiming too far to the left here, but that's the way this course has been going. And it still wasn't enough. I can't believe it. Genuinely can't believe it. All right, we're going to have a, a good third shot here. And hopefully get up and down for the birdie to get to five on the par. Because we're giving ourselves some good chances at the moment. But Nothing again, I'm just that. slightly missing them. Again, we got a pitch shot. All right, I'm putting a lot of loft on this one because the last one ran on for miles. Wow, did that shoot far right. Don't go down that hill. Don't you dare go down that hill. Oh. Yeah, nothing wrong with that shot. I'm pretty sure we're on the hill. Burden. Oh my god. That is so lucky. God, I can't even complain anymore because I got lucky a couple times today. Yes, dude! Oh my god. See, what I was worried about was the part behind me showed that it was breaking hard right. So I was like, I hope that's not going to affect it. Oh, it didn't, but I nearly ended up going to the left because I was worried about that. Holy shit, okay. Four holes remaining. We need one birdie in the last four to go double digit under par. Like, we're playing... We're not even playing as good as the last round. We're just scoring better, I feel like. Right? I think so, anyway. There you go. Beautiful. Yeah, beautiful, Frankie. Bound. Beautiful. You know that. You know that. 254. Like, that barely went anywhere. Like, that's the problem with the drive into the wind with the with the pro clubs. Like, it goes fuck all. Oh, man. Should I just try hit driver here for the banter? I think I might. Honestly, just try hit driver here. Like, fuck it. Wing it. Boom. It's about as good as you can strike one with the driver there, honestly. Kick forward! Go on, for me, baby! Oh, I just missed that little... If it had kicked off the bank there, I think that actually might have nearly ended up going up onto the green. 
Can you imagine I went up onto the green there with the driver and it just kicked right towards the hole? That would be beautiful. That would have been truly beautiful. All right, I'm just going to hit this. Maybe a tiniest little bit of D-loft. Sit. Sit. Sit! Mmm, perfect. The fast backswing was throwing me off there. Man, I thought it might just shoot forward. Par. Wait, this is a par 4? What?! Sorry. <laughs> that voice break. I was hitting driver with my second shot after hitting a perfect tee shot. Yeah, and I still right couldn't there. reach? I know the wind was into me, but holy shit. That's the and problem with the pro clubs there. The I really thought I was there like for a birdie. I was like, oh, nice. Tap in birdie. <laughs> Fuck, man. That's depressing. Okay. Um, let's see what we can do. That's so good. Seven iron on this one. That's so good. Get in the hole. You beauty. Come on. Now it's time to make and a birdie. That, he is on the dance Get to that six under mark. This is right around the eight foot mark. The eight foot mark. I bet this eight foot in your ass, son. Yes, I adjusted that, that a little bit more. Birdie. And just about went in, so I'm happy that I did and that. I Otherwise, we would have had another missed putt. But there you go. The 10 under par. Cat pizza, I'm coming for you. 17 under. It's doable. All right, let's go. Okay. And we, we just got to hold him on the last two holes, and then we're, we're level with him. I don't think we would be still, but... The wind's into us here as well. Yikes. I'm going to need the driver-driver technique again, huh? Well, so far, so good for this one. All right, the fast didn't affect it there, thank God. As the wind was coming that way anyway. We'll take it all day, son. All day, all night. All day, Rose. All day, Rose. Yards all up. night, Rose. All day, Rose. Pat Barry. All right. Um, 170 yards will probably not be enough still, I feel like. So maybe the 174 will be perfect. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. All night. All day, Rose. That's and so good. The six iron. That's so good. Please be the right distance. Please be the right distance today. No! Cruel face! It bounces back off the front of the green. Unlucky on that approach. And that shot. is just a little bit unlucky, isn't it? Yikes. I'm disappointed with that one, man. That sucks. Oh, I don't know about this one, actually. Because these uphill chips, I swear, sometimes they just don't pan out how you think they will. Into the upslope. Yes, there you go. That's perfect. Thank God. I saw that I put some loft in and I was like, I don't know. Sometimes these uphill ones, they just don't go as far as you think they par. will. All right, we'll take it. It's a par. And we just need a par on the last to, to finish double digits under par, which was my goal. Okay. I'll take that all night. All day. All day. All day, Rose. After that all right, let's birdie the last one. Come on. 11 under. How about that? On the final Wind's kind of helping. Here we go. Through his head. He's I'm happier with this round because I didn't play as well, but I scored better. I'd rather play him. poorly and score well than play good and, and not score. I hit that well, slow. I hit the last one fast and I hit that one slow. Grass. Kick left. Right. No, I thought that was going to kick left. It looked like it was. How does that not kick left? It landed and, on this slope uh, that was like aiming to the left, I feel like. Uh, that actually ended I just up didn't go left. That's wild. Alright, 70 mile an hour wins. I feel like this actually might be pretty good, you know? I feel like it might be pretty good. I'll put a little loft on this, possibly. So good. So good. So clean. Go! Holy shit! Really? Uh, I thought that was going to be really good. Yikes. Come on, let's hold this. I don't care, let's hold and, it. And uh, I think he's going to like that. Let's freaking hold he's it, baby. Setting up for the 39-foot putt from here. You know what, I'll take the par. <laughs> you know what, I'll take the par. Because this is going to break a lot. Look how far out I'm, right, I'm aiming right now. Still not enough, is it? Get in. Get in! Get in! Oh, come on, dude. Come on. <laughs> that would have been a nice way to finish it. All right, we'll take it. As I said, I'll take 10 under. How about 20 under for the four rounds together? That would be a decent return, I feel like. But I, I think we could do better, maybe. I think we could do better, because that first round, I have a feeling that's going to be our worst round. 
I get that funny feeling that that's going to be our worst round. So if we continue to shoot like six under, then we can get to like 22 under, 23 under mark. That would be really nice. But I'm happy with that round, to be honest. A couple of bad shots here or there, but I putted well. And um, the first hole is really the only bad hole there, you know? The first hole is the only bad one, but we'll take it. And I hope that you guys are enjoying this as much as I am. It's really good to be out here playing a major. I'm just happy. First round, I was frustrated, obviously. But um, it's still really enjoyable. Cat Pizza is 17 under through two rounds, which is quite incredible. We're seven shots behind him. But we are second on the leaderboard out of the people who have completed the two rounds. So thank you all for watching. I really appreciate it. I'll see you guys tomorrow for another, um, for another round of the Open. It's been my pleasure to serve you. Peace out. <laughs>